Where is everyone? Vanessa came through the portal, but the binding spell Amira tried didn't work. That's because it's a strong dark wraith bonded with a powerful witch. The incantation we used on civilians probably won't cut it. Great! Lena and the others followed her into town, and they told me to keep watch. I could use your help. We found Gloria, but I, I need a potion to revive her. I'm going to get most of the ingredients through the other portals in the gloaming, but I need some pearl dust. Can you get that for me? Right away. You really found Gloria? This day just keeps getting crazier. Is this enough? Yes, perfect. Still hasn't moved, but I think she's breathing. Here. Nothing's happening. Maybe she just was in here too long. I'm sorry I didn't find you sooner, Mom. Don't give up yet. We've already done everything we could do. <laughs> <coughs> Mom? <gasps> it worked! Mommy, Violet, but... It, it can't be. You're, you're so grown. How long have I been in here? Four years. Oh, baby. And Bastian? He's doing okay. I've been taking care of him. Oh, my poor babies. I'm so sorry. I couldn't let the Wraith travel deeper into the gloaming. Marcus, myself, and Giacomo had already banished it from the island once, but it returned more determined than ever to reach the heart of the Wellspring. And now it has Vanessa. What? Oh, Mom. This is my friend Tara. She's Hazel's granddaughter. Also, it turns out Vanessa was a witch this whole time. The Wraith is bonded to a witch? This is dire. I should go help the others. Go on ahead of us. I need to help my mom out of here. How dare you take the shape of my wife! This is your wife, you idiot! You have to calm yourself, Vanessa. Your malcontent energy is too strong. She's not a malcontent, my dude. She's a witch. Tara, you got here just in time. Natalia, Angus, Parker, you were right. There are witches in town. You just kept uh, accusing the wrong people. I knew it. I knew something weird was happening. <laughs> the person you should put on trial for being a witch is right there. Lena, the head of the coven. You're also a 
witch! Wraith, let Vanessa go! She doesn't want me to let her go. She's finally achieved her goal. Power over a coven that refused to let her in. And just because she wasn't from an established bloodline of witches! I don't know how much longer we can keep this up, Lena. <sighs> you don't need to. The coven will submit to me as the new High Priestess. You have until sundown. What are we gonna do? <laughs> To cast out a genie that powerful, we need more time. Ah, now there's an idea. In this place, I will pause time. The moment that I speak my rhyme. <gasps> That's a dirty trick. But the incantation will wear off eventually. Shelby, the spell only affects this part of Fairhaven, right? If I go get supplies for my farm, time will start moving for me. How am I supposed to make the banishment incantation? You can use the desk in my store. Would that help? I'll run to the bar for supplies. The non-alcoholic kind. Promise. Wesley gave me the parchment, but I still need fennel seed powder and a few of Vanessa's personal items. Amira may have some fennel seed powder in her clinic. And as for the personal items, why don't you try talking to the people Vanessa knows best? In the meantime, we'll keep an eye on Wraithy McRae face. I believe in you, kitten. Come speak to me when you're ready. My wife is a witch. I know, buddy. It's a lot to take in. My wife... is a witch. Okay, and I can see you're still processing. But I need your help. Do you have anything on you that's important to Vanessa? Uh, I can take this ring off now. Have that. I guess this means she doesn't need me anymore. I'm sure she still cares for you, Otto. But she never told me that she was a witch! A witch! Lena said that witches aren't the same as malcontents. I'm trying to believe her. By the way, she said you might need some paper. I'm not sure whether that will help right now, but here, have a few blank pages from the Book of the Mind. Oh, wow, that's very generous of you. Have you got anything of Vanessa's for me to read? Yes, this is a ring Vanessa gave Otto. Well then. Ah, you've been trying to get into the stone circle for a long, long time, haven't you? Years and years longer, and we realized there's a man approaching you in the woods. He looks like he is Otto, but this is the first time seeing him, isn't it? And you slip him the ring as soon as you figure out what kind of person he is. You start courting him, but he doesn't know. He doesn't know you were the masked figure in the woods. Why was she leading a double life this whole time? Because what she wanted and what Otto wanted were the same. Power in Fairhaven. Whoa, Wiley. Vanessa doesn't have the far sight, but stars above. She plans like she does. Well done, novice. This ring holds many echoes of Vanessa. Well, brine me and stick me in a barrel. I knew she was strange, but a witch? Are you talking about me or Vanessa? Vanessa, of course. You're Hazel's granddaughter, so... Ah, oh, jeez, Hazel was a witch too, wasn't she? Yup. Well, she and you had never been anything but sweet to me. I heard you might need some squid. Is it for a spell? Yes, it is. Huh. Maybe there's a new market that Bruno's bait and tackle can serve. Huh. 
Huh? You want something of Vanessa's? Have you checked the school? I mean, everything on the teacher's desk belongs to her. How am I supposed to get in? I guess it's locked. Not a problem. Take this. Wait, how did you get this? Juliet and I wanted to see the solutions for a math test, so when Vanessa dropped her spare key... Yeah. Wow, okay. Just don't tell Violet, please. These don't look like her usual style. Shelby will know if they're important to her. I have these gloves. I got the sense that they're important to her. We'll find out. Hmm. You didn't start out as gloves, did you? You were a sweater. A sweater for a much littler Vanessa. Wow. I didn't think Vanessa was sentimental like that. You put on the sweater because it was cold and you wanted to go back to the place you found while out adventuring. <sighs> the Stone Circle. Barsier, what happened? When she was a girl, she came to Fairhaven one summer. She went out exploring and found the Stone Circle, but she couldn't get in because she met someone protecting it. Marcus drove her off. She never forgot. She's been trying to break in since she was a kid? Holy... And when she outgrew the sweater she was wearing that day, she unpicked the yarn, had it made into gloves. The gloves sound perfect for the incantation, then. You couldn't have found better. If you've got all the supplies, best get to making that incantation. I won't waste any time. You can't waste time when it's frozen. 